viewers! Today I will speak about the copper wire for our generator. You will see it's very simple. Uh, you need you can buy one square millimeter or two square millimeter uh, wire, and uh, I will explain how much uh, current can it hold and how much does it cost and how you can buy it. Because the usual packages for this wire are like 10 kilograms, and we don't need that much. So I will grab down the wire. So. This is how I bought the wire. Yeah. They can wind it for you in such shape from the usual package from 10 kilograms. And uh, one kilogram of such wire costs about 10 bucks. So it, it means that you need 40 bucks for one, uh, one generator. Yeah, it's, it's enough. This particular wire is 1.15 millimeter in diameter. So it's one square millimeter wire. And um, yeah, I used 220 for one in, in one project I used uh, 150 and in another 220 uh, windings yeah? so this is uh, how I how I used this wire but you can uh, also buy the, the two millimeter wire two square millimeter wire because you can uh, you you will have double less of this wire but it will fit in the same space and you will of course have a, a double less voltage yeah? so you have to count on that and uh, yeah uh, this uh, particular wire which I showed you can hold currents up to 20 amps and this is uh, yeah this is quite enough for uh, our design to, to support the, the rated power and uh, this is a double insulated copper wire, uh, which is specially designed for the transformers and for the generators and like that, that it can uh, hold up to 200 degrees uh, yeah, in temperature. So you don't have to worry that this insulation will melt, melt down. Yeah? So this is why we need this kind of special wire, which is called enameled copper wire. Yeah? So, so this is the proper proper um, name of this and yeah uh, of course you will need when you buy the wire you need a winding machine you can do it even by hand yeah it's not it will not be so perfect but it will do it will it will work yeah if you do the molds I uh, I showed in my project uh, if you do it uh, by hand it will it will do fine yeah you don't have to worry it doesn't have to be perfect like it's from the factory yeah like the machine is winding yeah it's an automatic machine but anyway uh, you will uh, you will learn something uh, if you do it by yourself because uh, this is uh, very good to see uh, in practice how these systems uh, are designed and how they work and uh, and uh, you will see that it's many many details which on which we do not pay attention and when you see my uh, project you can see that it's not so uh, it, it looks simple it's like has only maybe five parts in the end but until you get to this to these five parts you will spend uh, a lot of time I, I think you need three to four weeks to finish this turbine doing maybe one two hours a day uh, to, to have it to have it completed yeah so you will see that you will you will um, face yourself with the challenge but uh, yeah it's a nice nice project so thanks for watching until next video bye bye